Okay, in today's video we're talking about the slope intercept equation, which is y equals mx plus b, and also just the plain slope equation. Alright, so first, given y equals mx plus b, m is our slope, and b, that last number, is our y-intercept. That's where it hits the y-axis. Okay? Our slope equation is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is also known as the change in y, the difference in the y's, over the change in x. So that's also known as rise over run. You use that to graph it, though. You use that to graph it, and you use this to find the actual slope. So we'll go ahead and do a few examples. So you can just designate your points however you want. This could be x1, y1, x2, y2. But it doesn't matter. You can make this one x2, y2, and this one x1, y1. We'll do that for this next one. All right, so we just plug that into our slope equation, m equals y2 minus y1, so negative 4 minus 8, over 9 minus 3. Well, negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12 over 6, so therefore our m is negative 2 for the first point, set of points. Okay, we have 8 comma 7 and 2 comma negative 1, same thing, just plug it into the slope equation, m equals negative 1 minus 7, negative 1 minus 7, over 2 minus 8, pretty much just the difference in x's, or the difference in y's, over the difference in x's, so we have the difference means subtract negative 1 minus 7 over 2 minus 8 which gives us negative 8 over negative 6. Two negatives make a positive, and we can reduce 8 over 6. 8 over 6 divided by 2 on the top and bottom, you get 4 over 3. But like I said, you don't have to go from this point to this point. You can call this x1, y1. So. Say we made this one x2, y2, and this one x1, y1. We do the same thing, just doing it kind of in a different order. So m equals uh, y2 minus y1 is 4 minus 2 over negative 3 minus negative 3. Negative 3 minus negative 3. All right, so we get two over, well, negative three minus a negative three means negative three plus three. Negative three plus three is zero. And we are actually not allowed to divide by zero. So this slope is undefined. Not allowed to divide by zero because zero will never go into two. All right, next example. M equals change in y's over the change in x's. So we just look at our y's. Eight minus eight is zero. Eight minus eight over four minus three. So we get zero over one, and zero divided by any number is just zero. So that is just zero. And the last one, we have one third, three halves, and two thirds, one fourth. So slope equals, we can go from this point to this point, or this point to this point, doesn't matter. So we have change in y's, one fourth minus three halves over two thirds minus one third. All right, well first we need a common denominator for the top. The bottom already have a common denominator. So 
we know 2 and 4 will both go into 4, so we can multiply this by 2. But if you do it to the bottom, you have to do it to the top. And this is already done for us. So we're just pretty much subtracting those. So we have 1 fourth minus 3 times 2 is 6 over 4 over 2 thirds minus 1 third, well 2 minus 1 is 1 over 3. So m equals 1 minus 6 is negative 5 over 4 divided by one third. And whenever you divide by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. So finally, we get negative 5 over 4 times 3 over 1. And we multiply straight across. So our slope for this one is negative 15 over 4. Alright, next we need to learn about graphing lines using the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. Sometimes they won't give it to you though, so you have to solve for y and figure it out yourself. But, for all my examples, I'm going to give you the formula right away, y equals mx plus b. So here, our slope is one half, and remember this is our rise over the run. So we're going to use that to graph it. And then this is our y-intercept. Alright, so this is our y-intercept. Which is actually a point, it's not just a number. It's 0, comma, whatever that number is. So it's positive 2. And then from there we can just graph it. This is our starting point. So we start there at uh, zero, uh, 0, 2. So here's our graph starting at 0, 2, over 0, up 2. And remember, it is the y-intercept, so it's going to hit the y-axis. And from there, we just use our rise over run. We would rise 1 from the point, rise 1, and run 2. So here's our next point. And you can do that a few times to get a few points. Uh, rise another one from this point, go up one, over another two. So here's another point. And you can go in the other direction, because we can also look at the slope as negative one over negative two. Two negatives make positive, so we're not really changing anything, we're just making it look different. So we could go rise negative one means down one, and over negative two on the x-axis is to the left two. So there are a few different points there. Now we can grab the line. Looks like that. Next one, slope is 3 over 2. Just the number in front of the x. And the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 1. All right, so from here, we can graph our line. So over 0, down 1, this is our starting points on the y-axis. And then we can use the slope, or rise over run, to find the next point. Up 3, over 2. So we go up positive 3, and over positive 2 on the x-axis. So here's our next point. And you really only need two points to graph a line. So that would be it. All right, next one, y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 1. So we know our slope here is negative 2 over 3. But we can also say 2 over negative 3. It doesn't matter which number that negative goes with, as long as the negative's in there somewhere. And our y-intercept is 0, comma, whatever this number is, so it's a negative 1 again. 
So we can graph it from here. First point, 0, negative 1, so starting point is right here. And we can go down 2 over positive 3. But if we use this one, we're actually going the other direction. So we can go up 2 over negative 3. So up 2 over negative 3. It's about right there. Which gives us a line. Next one. We have y equals 3x minus 5. So our slope here is 3, but we like to see it as a rise over run. So we're going to say 3 over 1. And our y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 5. We draw our graph down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for our y-intercept, and we go up 3 over 1. And we can get a few points. Up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, and that's our line. Number 5. y equals negative x plus 4. Same, same process, just your slope is the number in front of the x. Since there's no number, that means it's a 1, so our slope is negative 1. But we can also say negative 1 over 1, because that's our rise over run. And our y-intercept is 0, comma, 4. So that's our starting point. We have 0, 4 over 0, up 4, and we go down 1 over 1. So we go down 1 over positive 1, gives us our next point, and do a couple of them. Looks like that. Continuing on graphing lines, but not quite the same. So number six, say we just are given x equals three. If it just says x equals three, we know x is always going to be three. So all of our x values are three. So we start by plotting the first one. If y is one, x is still three. So what this does is it gives us a vertical line. So whenever you just have x equals a number, it's a vertical line. And the slope here is undefined. Because we have, we have a rise, but we don't have a run. So we rise some number, and we run 0. But whenever you have a number divided by 0, that's undefined. And it's similar with y equals a number. Say we have number 7, y equals negative 2. Well, y equals negative 2 is right here. And we know even at any x value, y is still going to be negative 2. So like over here, y is still negative 2, gives us a horizontal line. So we have a horizontal line, which means our slope, we are rising 0, and we're running some number, which gives us a slope of 0. So y equals a number gives us a horizontal line with a slope of 0. x equals gives us a vertical line with a slope that's undefined. And that's it for today.